Hey there, fellow space enthusiasts. Today, we're diving deep into one of the most mind-boggling questions in the realm of space exploration. Is it possible to build a spacecraft that can travel at light speed? Buckle up, because we're about to embark on a journey through theoretical physics, technological challenges, and the wild possibilities of the cosmos. First things first, let's talk about light speed. In the vacuum of space, Light travels at a staggering speed of approximately 300,000 kilometers per second. That's fast. Like, really fast. So, naturally, the idea of humans zipping through the universe at such an incredible velocity is incredibly enticing. But here's the kicker, according to our current understanding of physics, particularly Einstein's theory of relativity. Reaching the speed of light is a monumental challenge. Why? Well, as an object with mass approaches the speed of light, its energy requirements skyrocket, approaching infinity. This phenomenon is succinctly described by the famous equation E is equal to mc square, where E represents energy, m is mass, and c is the speed of light. As m approaches zero, that's why an object approaches the speed of light. Thus, E approaches infinity. So, what does this mean for spacecraft? It means that to propel a spacecraft to light speed, we would need an absurd amount of energy, far beyond anything we can currently harness. Think about it like this. It's as if you're trying to push a car to speeds faster than a jet plane using nothing but a couple of AA batteries. Not gonna happen, right? But hey, we're dreamers, aren't we? And humans have a knack for pushing the boundaries of what's deemed possible. So, let's entertain some theoretical concepts and technological advancements that could, hypothetically, get us closer to achieving light speed travel. One idea that's been tossed around is the concept of warp drives. Popularized by science fiction, warp drives involve manipulating space-time itself to warp or stretch the fabric of reality, allowing a spacecraft to essentially ride a wave of distorted space-time to its destination. Sounds cool, right? Unfortunately, the current scientific consensus is that our understanding of physics doesn't yet support the feasibility of warp drives. But hey, never say never. Another concept is the use of antimatter propulsion. Antimatter is the opposite of regular matter, with particles like antiprotons and positrons having opposite charges to their regular counterparts. When matter and antimatter collide, they annihilate each other, releasing an immense amount of energy. Harnessing this energy for propulsion could theoretically provide the thrust needed to reach incredible speeds. The catch? We currently produce antimatter in such small quantities that using it as a viable fuel source for spacecraft remains a distant dream. Then there's the idea of using exotic matter with negative mass. This hypothetical substance would possess properties opposite to regular matter, allowing it to repel instead of attract other objects gravitationally. By utilizing negative mass in some form of propulsion system, scientists speculate that it might be possible to achieve speeds approaching that of light. However, negative mass remains firmly in the realm of theoretical physics, with no experimental evidence to support its existence. Of course, there's also the option of bending the rules altogether and exploring concepts like wormholes or shortcuts through higher dimensions. Wormholes, if they exist, would provide a cosmic shortcut allowing for almost instantaneous travel between two distant points in space-time. Think of it as poking a hole through a sheet of paper and jumping from one side to the other without having to traverse the entire surface. Again though, these ideas are firmly rooted in speculation and theoretical frameworks rather than practical engineering. Now, let's address some of the more practical challenges of building a spacecraft that can travel at light speed assuming we somehow crack the energy and propulsion conundrums. First off, there's the pesky issue of cosmic debris. Space is littered with all sorts of debris, from tiny micrometeoroids to larger asteroids. At light speed, even a grain of sand could pose a catastrophic threat to a spacecraft. So, we'd need advanced shielding or deflection systems to protect our hypothetical light speed vessel. Then there's the problem of navigation and communication. At light speed, the universe becomes a blur of relativistic effects. Time dilation, length contraction, and other funky phenomena come into play, 
making it incredibly challenging to navigate accurately or communicate with anything outside the spacecraft. Imagine trying to send a text message when your phone's clock is running at a different rate than someone else's. It's a headache-inducing puzzle. And let's not forget about the human factor. Even if we solve all the technical challenges, traveling at light speed presents significant physiological and psychological risks to human travelers. Time dilation means that while a spacecraft might zip through space at light speed from the perspective of those on board, time would slow down relative to the outside world. This could lead to issues like time lag, aging discrepancies, and a whole host of existential questions about our place in the universe. But hey, none of these challenges are insurmountable. Humans have a knack for innovation and problem solving. Who knows what breakthroughs await us in the realms of physics, engineering, and technology? Maybe one day, we'll look back at our current understanding of light speed travel and chuckle at how quaint it all seems. In the meantime, let's keep dreaming, keep exploring, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible. The universe is vast, mysterious, and full of wonders waiting to be discovered. And who knows, maybe somewhere out there, a civilization is already zipping through the cosmos at light speed, waiting for us to catch up. Thanks for joining me on this cosmic journey, fellow space cadets. Until next time, keep looking up.